And for two days, police have been looking for answers into what triggered a deadly crash that killed two Ben Davis High School students and seriously injured three others. Now, there have been a lot of talk from even witnesses of some sort of road rage incident, and tonight police may have found the other driver. In fact, we broke this news of it today with a push alert from our WTHR app. Our own Rich Van White tonight has more about how this incident may have started. Rich? Finding that suspicious car and a cooperative driver, according to police, is a major step toward sorting out what's become a very complex investigation. The cross and flowers are in memory of Taylor Parsons and Brandon Groves. They were killed and three of their friends critically injured when their SUV veered out of control and rolled over several times Tuesday night. We have a big puzzle. We're trying to put all these pieces together. Before the crash, the five teens were in the nearby Rodius Park. They weren't alone. Police say there was an altercation. It could have been words, threats, or an outright fight. They don't know. From what we understand, uh, that altercation led to the teenagers leaving in the silver vehicle and, and another vehicle leaving behind them. Was the vehicle following the teenagers, chasing them, or threatening them? Again, police don't know. But they have no evidence that that trailing car physically caused the crash. And what I mean is that one car didn't crash into the silver SUV, causing it to leave the roadway. Uh, but there's a lot of unanswered questions. From the police and from the teenagers' friends and relatives. Some of them put up a small memorial last night. You just always keep your loved ones close because you never know what's going to happen. Of the three survivors, police have questioned only 18 year old Olivia Evans. 17 year old Christopher Church and 19 year old Michael Blackmore are so critically injured they've not yet been able to speak with investigators. Investigators hope they recover and live to tell them about what occurred in that park and on the way to what became a deadly accident scene. Andrea?